The Category Manager in Document 360 helps you organize content in a structured way so that users can easily navigate your knowledge base site. It is important to have an initial design or planning phase where content writers and managers can outline the content hierarchy before actually building the knowledge base. And designing the content hierarchy from your user's perspective makes it intuitive to browse and access information. A category can be seen as a grouping of related content. For example, we have a category named Release Notes, under which all content related to this category are hosted. As you can see, categories can have subcategories. Document360 allows up to six subcategories per category, but from a user experience standpoint, it is recommended to have no more than three or four subcategories. There's a lot you can do within the Category Manager to structure your content. There are several ways to add categories or articles to your documentation. If you're on the category level, you can click on the New button. Another way is by clicking on the plus button which appears when you hover your mouse between two categories or articles. Or create categories by clicking on the New button on the bottom. The intuitive drag and drop feature makes it quick and easy to reorder your content the way you like. You can change the default folder icon to any of the many available icons. There are several actions you can perform on a category. We can rename it, or move it to another category. We can delete the category if we want. Document360 will temporarily keep deleted content in the recycle bin for 30 days just in case you need it restored. When you create a category, you also need to choose what kind of category type it's going to be. Folder, index, or page. Folder is a basic category type and acts as a simple bucket folder for articles and subcategories. When you create an article under the folder category type, your article will appear in your documentation site like this. If you notice a URL, it will point to your documentation site and the article slug of the article you are currently viewing but will not have the category name in the URL. Let's change the category type from folder to index. This essentially acts as an index to all the articles present within the folder. A URL is generated for this category type and this is a great way to share a link of the whole category with others. Users who go to this URL will now be presented with a bird's eye view of the content under this particular category along with the number of articles and contributors. The articles are listed along with a small excerpt from the article, its contributors, and when it was updated. The page category type is similar to the articles you create under the categories in your project. You'll notice that as soon as we change this category type to page, it'll open up the editor. Now we can put in a couple of lines describing the content in this category. Once we publish this and share this URL, users will be presented with a category and a description of the content within. Bear in mind that you are free to change the category type anytime you want depending on your use case. There may be situations when certain categories need more attention than others or some categories may be accessed more frequently. You can star any category so that it is quickly available to you when you need it. You can view your starred categories and articles right here and becomes especially useful as your knowledge base grows. In conclusion, planning your documentation structure and gearing it towards your users is crucial before you start building your knowledge base. With the power and intuitiveness of the category manager in Document360, building a successful knowledge base becomes a breeze.